Hello, welcome back to uh, the Ginger Turner. Um, today um, I'm going to do um, another pen. I've done one uh, a couple of videos ago, I think, which was a present for uh, our neighbours with their name on. This is another pen for another neighbour, for another neighbour. Um, his wife is, it's his birthday, um, Alan, in a couple of, uh, few weeks, I think, end of the month, end of May. And uh, his wife has uh, approached me to ask me if I can make a pen for him for his birthday. So, um, obviously I obliged. Um, it's going to be uh, a different type of pen, this one. Um, it's a, uh, a roller ball, not a biro. There's a kit. Uh, Taylor Murfield. Um, very good um, website for, for your pens. I think they only do pens, I'm not sure. They might do other bits. No, they do other project kits as well. But pens, I find their pens are um, are the elite of um, other pen uh, bits I, I get from other places. Pay a little bit extra, but um, not much. Pound or so, a kit maybe. But they, they are worth it because they're really nice. So this is a rollable. Uh, what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to try and introduce, in the top end of it, um, a Celtic band pattern in it. Um, I've done a couple before, with, yeah, they, they have been successful. Um, I use a little jig, which I'll show you on the video, to um, insert the um, other the Celtic band wood into the um, end of the wood, into the pen. Uh, it's a little bit tricky, a little bit fiddly, but um, the effect afterwards is um, is really nice. So um, I'm going to crack on with that now, and I uh, hope you enjoy the video, and uh, hopefully we'll have a nice pen for Alan at the end of the day. Thank you guys, see you later, bye. Okay guys, so I've got the jig set up and all it is, I'll take him off, bit of old bit of um, shelving I add, um, I think that's 30 degree bolted on that angle there, clamp, stop, Stop on there, a bit there. And the idea is, I've done this one already, the one side. So basically, you clamp it in on the angle. You run the jig up the side of the bandsaw until it hits the backstop, which forms this cut, which stops just fractionally before the edge, couple of mil before the edge. You put in some veneer of a different colour and then um, clamp it with a clicky clamp after you super glued it obviously. And then you do all four sides and uh, you end up with like a, a cross with a line at the bottom and when you turn it it forms it into a Celtic band. So uh, I'll uh, Show you now how the jig works on the on the video, but that's a basic. You'll see how it how it is as we go along. But uh, nothing complicated, uh, you know. I saw this on YouTube how to make it, and it was you know half an hour job to make the jig, and uh, it did work a treat. So hopefully it'll work again this time. Right, uh, enjoy the video, guys. Right, so done side one. I've done number one to four. On the ends, so we've done one. One's all done. Put it onto number two. Into the clamp. Again, to stop here, a bit of doweling pokes out the other side. So that end hits the dowel. Clamp it down. Okay, so tighten that right up. Solid there now. So this end is against the stop. 
we fire up the bandsaw, slide it in on the runner until this, this edge is touched off, which will make sure that the blade doesn't come all the way through and break out the side of the wood. So here we go. Pushing it through nice and steady. So that's hit the stop now on the back. Hit the stop. If I show you when it's not running. There you go, that's hit the stop. The blade is just shy of coming through, which is what we need. You don't want to chop the end off. And we're just unclamping. There's slot two. We get some veneer. So we've already pre-cut. If I cut the pieces together, it's well I don't know what it is. Quarter of a mil thickness maybe each one. Not even that, I don't think, to be fair. Run some super glue. I can find you into the slot. Push the veneer into the slot, nice and tight. Don't worry about overlapping the edges. That's fine. That's an air like that. Put a dab more super glue. So it all runs in. Then a clicky clamp. Pinch it onto the end. Leave that for a few minutes and then uh, do uh, three and four. So uh, I'll show you that. I'll shut up now and stop talking. And we'll do the other two uh, with a bit of music. Okay guys, so there we go, so that's what you end up with, so you've got a cross, there's a line at the bottom there, I can't see where you are on that one, see a better on that one probably, yeah, there we go, that's a better one, that's 
and that's what it is. That's that has that's how the jig works. Doesn't look like a Celtic band yet, but when it's all turned, hopefully uh, it will be. Could have got a little bit in more out with that one, but there's plenty of meat on there. Loads to turn off, so uh, it'll all clean up in the end. So you're going to just chop it on the bandsaw now on the blue line. That's where the big brass goes, and then the little brass bros goes in the bottom. So we'll do that, and then we'll um, set it up on the uh, on the lathe and drill out the brass ends and uh, give her a spin. First of all then, it's so gonna get some rough sandpaper. Just scuff up the tubes. Which helps the uh, super glue to stick. Okay then get the little um so this is the big tube which goes in the shorter one. So plenty of super glue, more the merrier. And then always put a little bit in the tube as well just to give it a bit more. Push. Push that in. Lovely job. Let's do the other one the same. That on there. Drop some super glue on. A bit in the tube. I'll give that 10 minutes to dry now and then um, we can have a go with a bit of turning. Okay, so a couple of days later, got back in the shed again. So, um, yeah, they're all um, all glued up now, the blanks. Um, I've uh, sanded off the uh, end so it's flush with the brass in. Brass inserts. And uh, just case now of um, loading them on. So I'm going to do this one first, a short one with a Celtic band on, or hopefully a Celtic band at the end. And uh, got the bushings, and we put a bushing in there. You buy these bushings with the kits, 
So once you've got them once, obviously, the, you uh, don't need them again. So pushing either end, what we do, we turn the wood until we're flush with the bushings, and that will give you the perfect end size for the um, pendulum nice. The middle bit, obviously, you can do a little bit of shaping. You've got a little bit of leeway, but not a great deal. I tend to do sort of a bulbous end, just a slight sort of um, convex curve on it. So yeah, that's the bushes on, and then it's a case of sliding the bushes onto the mandrel. Put a few spacers on. Take up the rest. Nut. It's be fairly tight. We can do it a bit tighter after. Up with the tail stock, which will cage in the end. You don't want too much pressure when you wind that in because you'll put whip in the bar, which will um, make it a turn um, off center. So you literally just pinch, wind and pinch it up. It's only going to hold it, not doing anything. That's what's locking it all on the mandrel. So give it a bit more tweak on there. And hopefully we'll have a nice Celtic band. So um, get get on the PPE now. Make myself safe and um, give her a spin. Okay, so you can just see the Celtic band starting to appear. Couple of tiny little holes, but I can fill them. Now, please, that just where it quite hasn't clamped up, but. I'm going to take some more off here, yeah? I'm going to lay about half a mil lip on that bush there. And probably a quarter of a mil lip on there. So, got a little bit of a bulbous effect going on there. Convex um, shape. So, do a bit more. And then, um, fingers crossed. But, yeah, looking nice. PPE first guys, as always.
couple of slight, well there's one there, just a little bit of, I think I might take that down actually, I've got put a bit of meat on there, safe for in it, I'm going to give that another skin. Right there, now for the assembly, which is always a bit of the tricky part, but hopefully so. That bit goes in there. Let's hold him up. Come on down, just a bit of wood in to protect it. And it goes right in. Till it click, not clicks, just till it presses up. Let's check that. Yeah. And the end with a clip on. Put in your pocket or whatever you want to do with it. Push it in the other end, like that. There's the top done. Celtic band on it. Okay, and then the other end, the nib adapter. Press it up. 
presses into there. Right, success. There we go, guys. Um, one pen, roller ball from the uh, Taylor Murfield. I think it's the Amiga, Amiga roller ball. They do an Amiga um, fainted pen as well. That's a roller ball. Uh, Trying to show it to you, but there's some stills at the end. See that, alright? Celtic Bound works a treat. Well, yeah, fairly pleased with that one. If I could be really, really picky, I could pick at it a little bit, but it's fine. Um, so these kits, um, unscrew, offer you your lid, your pen. If you don't lose it, screws on the end. Do your right in. And then um, back on. So yeah, hope you liked the video. Uh, hope Alan's as pleased with it as I am. Sure he will be. Um, uh, if he's not, I guess I won't be getting any more wood. <laughs> but no, I'm sure he will be, guys. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up, please. And uh, like, share and subscribe as normal. I know a lot of you do, but uh, some don't. But that's you know your choice, really, at the end of the day. But uh, I would appreciate it if you could. So stay safe everyone and uh, see you on the next one. Take care guys. Thank you. Bye.